Hi. <laughs> I'm Mona. This is Chichat. <laughs> so you guys seen the weather is kind of, you know, it's it's not that uh it's it's not sunshine. <laughs> But, but it's nice. You know, it's not freezing either. Uh, we're at that. Uh, what you see seen out there is uh, FM 521 River Park. So this is my little kickback area. <laughs> and um, yeah, uh, we're just chilling. You know, I've been able, I already took the dogs on like uh, two walks today, but it's kind of wet and a continuous like not rain downpour but you know something you know it's raining <laughs> right like the dogs don't want to hang out outside and you know lay in the grass or anything so um but it's still cool you know i'm still cool with it uh something happened yesterday when i first got here well not right when i first got here but well kind of because i got here and then i you know, I did like what I said from the last video, if you guys saw it, <laughs> the adventures of Mona, <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> yeah, you know, um, I got here, I positioned the trailer how I wanted it and then I unhooked and then I locked everything up and I left because, you know, I, I did, I, I don't want to leave for a couple days. I just want to chill around here. You know, do some readings, maybe knit another little hat or something. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, do some uh, regular reading too, you know. But um, yeah, so basically uh, that's what I did. And I came back. And then uh, uh, as when I parked, there was a, a truck kind of parked close to the trailer. Not that close, just, you know, a couple spaces beyond. Because I'm taking up two spaces here. And yeah. Um, so I saw some little kids, you know, and of course the kids got scared of the dogs because, you know, Chica and Brian, ah, you know, and I tried to tell them, oh, you know, sorry. And they says, okay. And then I seen, and then I thought about the little girl. I said, oh, you know what? I'm going to see if she wants to have some of these little trinkets that I make, you know, like I make little, uh, like I find seashell, you know, and I make a little pendant or something so, for free, not, not for sale to just give her. And so I found the box that I had them in and I went to her and I said, Hey, do you want to get one of these? You know, I said, I make these. I said, they're for free. I just, I just give them away. Cause I, otherwise I'm going to have a lot, you know, and I, I don't sell stuff. I just give them away. And, um, and she goes, she goes, uh, as long as I'm not going to get a curse or some, some shit like that. And I was like, what? <laughs> I'm all, what? I'm all, no, I'm all, if anything, this will bring you good luck. <laughs> I said, I said, this has a stone in it that's for good luck, a carnelian. And it was a shell. It was a nice one I made, too. And it had a little stone that kind of moved up and down on there. I'm all, you know, if you have a bestie here, you can give it to your best friend for Christmas or something. And and I said, yeah, no, I don't I do not do that. <laughs> and, and so that was weird, you know. And I'll tell you another story, okay? Anyways, um, so she, she looked through there and then she saw something she actually liked for herself, maybe. And it was like a sea glass thing. And she's like, what's this? I said, sea glass. And she's like, I said, yeah, you can have it, you know? And then I look at her little brother and I said, do you have like a little girlfriend at school? You want to give, you know, one of these two or something? And he saw no. And then the dad was right there. And I said, do you want one? You want to go on your wife or something? And he, he's like, no, cool. And I'm like, all right, you know, that's all. I just, you know, I'm. I just want to give you guys something. <laughs> and um, so they took it and they left, you know, and that kind of made me feel strange because, dude, I approached her with the freaking hat, with the ears, you know, and I had my snowsuit on. So I looked like a big bear, you know, well, maybe a big black bear, but, <laughs> but I look like, you know, I don't understand where, and I don't, I don't even have my sticker on the trailer yet. The one that advertises like the name of my YouTube channels. I don't even, and I was actually thinking about doing that here if it dried up, if it dried up, right? Cause I can't do it in the rain, obviously. But um, yeah, dude, you know, so that was a, that was a trip. And so the other story I have involved in that is, is that, um, I'm watching Brian because he's acting weird. So anyway, anyhow, 
So anyhow, um, I already forgot what I was saying because I was watching him because, you know, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the other story I was going to tell you about, another experience that I had like that, which was kind of weird about, I don't know, is when I was in Kansas and I was at Perry Lake and I was camping out there. I camped there for like a week. It was real nice. I like that spot, too. It's a pay spot, but it's nice, you know. And um, I was camping over there, and it happened to be a busy weekend that I was there. And it was sunny, a lot of people. And I seen kids running by, and they would look at me and everything. And then another kid, and then they ran by again or something and said something. And I was talking I said something or they said something and whatever. And and then the youngest little boy of the little, because it was a couple kids, was like, you're the witch. And I'm all, what? (laughs) Dude, how? How? And you know what? When I was at Perry Lake, I never told anyone I was reading tarot or doing any of that stuff. Like, and I don't have it indicated right here that I'm, that I, how, where, where are these ideas coming from? I don't have anything that looks as if I would be witchy poo or, you know? Or even that I read tarot. Like, I'm telling you, I don't have a sticker even out there on my... If anything, I have, like, camping stickers and butterflies. You know, I don't have... Do I look like like a witchy poo? You know? I don't know. <laughs> Anyhow, you guys. So, I was watching Brian here. Ooh, you hear the thunder. Uh, and I, well, I have my little candles here. That's not witchy poo, though. These are the best ways to have light without, you know, using battery. Right now, I'm using a battery behind the camera so you can see my face, because otherwise it would be too dark. But I don't mind chilling in candlelight. It's nice, you know. If I'm watching a movie, it really doesn't matter, right? Um, on sunny days, though, it's just really bright in here. But I don't really kick back on sunny days inside here unless I'm doing a reading or something like that, you know. Otherwise. I'll be doing something outside, organizing things, moving around, doing, you know. Uh, But during this time when the weather is kind of like this, it's kind of like you can't really... This is where I'm so happy. I have the new trailer because I can stand up and stretch and I'll still... I I have my door propped uh, a special way so I can keep it open and no water gets on the door or inside. It's kind of like at a triangle, kind of how I do the back door. Because I've done the back door when it rains and it's like a triangle. I did the same thing with the uh, the front door. Because I don't want to open the back door because <laughs> supposedly, you know, I've been watching the weather channel. And suppose I'm in Texas, if anybody's wondering, because somebody might be watching this from a cold area. I don't know. But <clears throat> there's an Arctic blast coming in, you know. I, I seen it on a weather video, a one that, you know, like a current one, not from, you know, last week, two weeks ago. No, one that says like an hour ago, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, a video that was made like just recently like that. And it's some person said that there will be an Arctic blast coming in, I guess from where Canada is, you know, up there. And it's just, it's going to blow it this way from Antarctica, I guess, through Canada to this way. But it's going to blow through the middle part and the Midwest, and it's going to kind of curve a little bit through Texas, right? Now, I'm on the Gulf area, and it kind of looks like it might just brush this area. But it still shows that it's going to be really freaking cold. You know what I'm saying? It still shows that it's going to be really freaking cold right here. And now, <laughs> all right, listen. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I got a, a, a call or, or yeah, a message. Yes. It was yes, yeah, yesterday when I was leaving Carl Park. Right. And it was, it was the friend Sergio, the guy with the motorcycle and the little trailer. 
and he left a message saying, oh, it's so cold by Quartzsite. I want to go meet up with you guys so I can go hang out with you guys and go to that thing in New Year's or whatever, right? And I was thinking to myself, oh my goodness. <laughs> because, you know, I mean, you know, no, I'm... Anyways, <laughs> so I'm thinking, oh, shoot. And I, and I thought, oh my God, I wiped off all the numbers and everything from my phone because I was trying to reset it because things were not working properly, you know? So I thought if I reset it, the phone would start working better, right? So I lost that guy's number and I heard the message, but it didn't show on my freaking phone because the phone w was off when he called. So when I turned it on, it didn't show any call or any number. It just showed I had a message. And I'm like, dang. So I listened to the options because I try to, because sometimes I remember that they would read the phone number back to you when it was, I don't know. Anyhow, um, it was raining a little bit more. It's raining a little bit. Anyhow, so, uh, yeah, so I was um, trying to listen to a number, and it, it, that was a, an option. So I kept listening, and it said to reply with a message. So I, so I left a message, and then I sent it, but I don't know if it works. I sent it twice, and, and yeah, I think it worked because he sent me a text back, <laughs> and I told him where we were. And I don't know exactly where he, where he is. But <laughs> he wants to come around here, so I mean, I told him it's still cold. It's not, you know. Listen, it's raining. You know what I mean? It's not the, you know. But maybe it's not as cold as over there. You know. So, like, I'm not. I'm. I'm wearing this thing. It's not a thick sweatshirt, though. You know. But I'm only wearing a t-shirt underneath. So I have my, my jacket somewhere in here. I have it. You have it rolled up there. But... Oh, I have it right here. Yeah, I have it right here. So yeah, I mean, I'm not hot, but it's pretty great. Ooh, it's raining hard right now. It's raining pretty heavy. But we're, you know, it's probably better to be at this spot than, than, than Carl Park when it rains heavy because over there it can kind of get wet. We're high right next to the Colorado River, but we're like kind of high on a mountainy thing, you know? Uh, I hope that dude's okay riding, because he's on a motorcycle and he's riding that shit. And I don't know if he's riding through rain or snow or what, man. Uh, I hope he's okay, you know? <laughs> I was mentioning Brian, so I was mentioning Brian earlier because, um, yeah, when I got up this morning, there was a whole bunch of puke in here, like dog puke, you know? Uh, it was like moist kibble -y, you know? But dang, and, and I think it was Brian, I think he ate something that upset his stomach, um, because Chica pretty much took over his bed, you know? Either that or she did it and took over his bed. I don't know, but somebody here wasn't feeling good. I feel like it's Brian because I've been watching their stool when they go to the bathroom. And Chica's is firm as normal. Brian's is like watery. He has to stop and then he has to go again. And stuff. So he ate something. And you know what? It's so freaking hard to monitor these dogs because they'd be fucking finding shit on the floor and picking it up. And, hey, a snack. And I don't know what. The, and it's like, hey, what is that? You know, I have to pull them away from whatever the, they're eating. You know, kind of. Some of it looks like it's bones. Like bones from what? I don't know. From some fucking wild something. I don't know. I don't know. So now, now their food's probably all soaked. But I, I kind of fed them when it was not raining. So, and I, and I threw, actually threw, uh, both the dishes under the trailer, so they might actually not be getting wet, so. You hear? It's raining. But I set up my little rain shield really good there, so. <laughs> so that's all I wanted to talk about, you know, about what's been going on. We're just chilling here. We're actually going to stay here for three nights. That's what's allowed. So that means that we're leaving here on, on Wednesday. I don't know the next.